Hi, I'm Angela Kalansis and I live with a traumatic brain injury. Um, and this little video is part of um, my project, Brain Injury Support Education and Awareness. Um, today, I'm just gonna have a quick word about different therapies that are out there. Um, one of which that I find, I, I get a lot of, um, not just pleasure, but sense of accomplishment from, um, is art therapy. Now, there are different forms of art therapy. Um, the form that I participate in is more along the lines of Uh, like bringing old furniture to life and bringing um, new life to, you know, to older things that we may find. Um, for instance, uh, I have a dressing table that I did in a shabby finish, um, which is actually about to be taken back to the lady that does my art therapy, um, which is Upcycle Treasure at Harrisville um because i would like that to be a different color now so i'll be taking it back to her and that'll be my next stage of art therapy we'll sit down and um sand it back and repaint it and all of that stuff but like for me it's a sense of accomplishment in that <laughs> i take about four times as much as uh, as long as i used to take but i'm doing it I may not be the quickest. I may not produce something that's, you know, you be great high quality, but it's my accomplishment. I did it. Um, and yes, Sam does help me a fair bit along the way. Um, but it's that motion of sanding, you know, uh, it's actually quite relaxing and calming. Um, and then the motion of, you know, painting it on and just concentrating on something as simple as making your, making sure your brush strokes are right and um, all of those things really does help because it fo you focus on something that... I'm focusing on something that I actually have control over. And there's a lot of things in my life that I do not have control over anymore. Um, there's a lot of things in my body and in my brain that I do not have control over anymore. But picking something to do craft with, whether it be at the moment I'm doing Christmas wreath um, and a Christmas sign. Um, and then, as I said, I'll be doing my dresser, you know, in the new year. Um, it, maybe it's something as simple as that, but having that sense of accomplishment that I've done it from start to finish and that I, for instance, with the Christmas wreath, had an idea in my head that this is what I wanted to do with it. And yes, I did do struggle to go from what's in here to what's actually physically in front of me. And that's where Sam comes in and she'll prompt me and she'll help me and she'll just sit and listen to me as you know, I blur everything out that's happening and what's going through my mind at the moment. Um, it it's great because yeah, it, it's not. It someone said to me, "Oh, why don't you just go to one of the cheap shops and buy the crafty stuff and sit at home and, and do something?" Well, yeah, I could do that, but could I? You know, I have a crafty box set up at home and. I sit and look at it and I can't for the life of me work out where to start, where to finish. Or when I start it, I, um, you know, it's half done and it sits there for ages. But whereas with Sam, I can, she helps me, gives me those prompts to start it. And then she prompts me and helps me uh, along the way. And I know that on the bigger pieces that I have done, um, when I'm not around, she'll, you know, my little elf will go in and do some bits for me to, you know, push the process on a bit. It might be taking a little bit too long. Um, and that's great because, you know, she's doing it out of kindness and I understand that because it helps me then get to the next stage and it stops me from feeling, 
oh my God, I haven't accomplished anything. Um, so that's great as well. So, you know, when it, when it comes to therapy, it's not always sitting across from a person, you know, talking to a counsellor or talking to a psych or anything like that in, in any way. Sometimes it's as simple as finding that one thing that you like to do that you get a sense of accomplishment from, be it from, like for me, the art therapy, playing with, you know, furniture and playing with some forms of the crafty stuff and, it could be gardening. I mean, I also do enjoy gardening and get that sense of accomplishment out of gardening, but I do need, so, again, someone with me to help prod me along and, you know, all those kind of things. But, you know, there are other things out there that people do that gives them that accomplishment. You know, something, someone does jewellery making, someone else does um, uh, jewellery out of beading. Um, CPL, actually. Is it CPL? I think it's CPL. They um, have an art store, and I think it's an online art store, and it's all for pe people with disabilities who have created these pieces of art that you can actually get online and buy. Um, so, yeah, if you do have a brain injury, just find that one thing that works for you. Um, even if you don't have a brain injury, find that one thing that works for you that really gives you that sense of accomplishment, that sense of doing, and do it. You know, it's, I can't, as I said, I can't do a lot of things that I used to do before my accident, but I am trying and I am doing other things that I can now do. You know, you've just got to find your other thing. So, yeah, thank you. Um, I hope that was interesting for you. Again, like, comment, subscribe, all of that stuff. Uh, thanks very much, and I will talk to you all shortly. Thank you. Bye.